So I'm going to show you now how to run the same shear water perdix. But this time I'm going to use a line cutter, which I like to actually have on the wrist. I have a computer on each arm, so I'm having a cutter that's accessible by each hand, no matter kind of really where I am. And I like it on the wrist, I think it's out of the way, you can find it easy to access. So I'm just going to show you how you run the bungee through to create that, okay? In the previous video, I used a thicker piece. I'm just going to show you it's a little bit easier with a thinner piece. But it's the same idea. We're going to take around 55 centimeters. So here we go. Nice and tidy. One thing that's interesting is to just decide which hand you want this to be on because the orientation of the line cutter that's here as you deploy it and you pull this out you want to make sure it's going to run either this way or the other way around for the other hand so let's say we're going to set this up for the left hand so we have our piece of bungee now and we're going to do the same as we did on the previous video we're going to create one side's going to be the lock so we're going nice and small knot we're going to come up from one side here and now this is to make sure that this is the front of the computer that's where we want the cutter at least that's where i'm wearing my cutter the orientation is correct if you take the cutter out it's actually easier to run the bungee through so I can make a gap like this push the bungee through and there's one side here come through the hole at the back now remembering that I want to take a knot around halfway along. Come back through the back now. So it's going to check that the cutter is still in the correct orientation, which it is. Squeeze, come back through here. And then finish off in the last hole. and I make a final knot. And again, same idea. I generally want to have the option of having one side slightly larger than the other. Okay. And when I'm here, the knot wants to be in the middle, so I've got options. And then the line cutter, of course, is just going to come back through, close it off, and there we are. What I like about using the thinner bungee, of course, is that all the knots are slightly smaller and you might find them more comfortable. Now, of course, you're not really going to feel that through a wetsuit, but it's just really something to consider. And then all I will then do, just trim the ends down and tie it off. But there you are, nice, new, simple bungee mount.